In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about a topic from unit interpolation. Today we will discuss about interpolation with equal interval and unequal interval. Now, what do you mean by equally spaced data? So now if you see here, the equally spaced data is nothing but if distance between, let me write it here, first is nothing but equally spaced data. So what is equally spaced data? Definition of equally spaced data is if the spacing between all x values, spacing between all x values, all x values spacing is same, then it is called as equally spaced data. For example, suppose if we have a data value of x is there, value of y is there, Let's say, suppose value of x is 0, 5, 10, 15, 20. And corresponding values of y are, let's say, 5, 7, then 11, 18, and 31. So what you observe here? We observe that this is your first element x0. This will be corresponding y0. This is x1. This will be y1 x2 corresponding element is y2, x3, y3, x4 and y4. So here we observe that spacing between values of a x is same. That is, it is denoted by h which is equal to step size. So which will be equal to x1 minus x0 or it will be equal to x2 minus x1 or it will be equal to x3 minus x2 like that. If you observe, difference between all values of x is same, that is 5. So this is called as equally spaced data. Similarly, now if we see uh, what is unequally spaced data. So let me write it here, unequally spaced data. So it is exactly opposite to that of your equally spaced data. In the equally spaced data, we discussed that if distance between x is the same, then it is called as equally spaced data. But if a distance between x is not same, what we have to write here, we have to write if distance between x is not same. So let me write it as suppose this is your x and y values, let's say 0. 5, 8, 15, 20 and these are the corresponding values. Let me write any values for example here. So if you observe this will be your x0, this is your corresponding y0, this will be x1, this will be y1 like that x2, x3, x4, this will be corresponding y2 value, y3 value, y4 value. So what we observe here, this h which is equal to step size, it is not same. Here if you observe, x1 minus x0, it will be 5. Again, x2 minus x1, 8 minus 5 will be 3. x3 minus x2, that is 15 minus 8 will be 7. 20 minus 15 will be here 5. So what we observe, if the distance or a spacing between all the x values of x is not uniform, then it is called as unequally spaced data. Now let me discuss what are the methods for equally spaced data. So methods for equally spaced data. So it includes first one is nothing but Newton's forward interpolation formula or interpolation method. Similarly, we have Newton's backward interpolation and we have a third one which is nothing but central interpolation in that we have Stirling and a Basel. So if a data is equally spaced, then we can apply these three methods. So central is also there. In a central, as I discussed with you, first one is nothing but Stirling's 
Stirling's method. Second one is nothing but Bessel's method. Okay. And if a data is unequally spaced, then in case of unequally spaced data, the methods which are used for the interpolation, it includes your first one will be Lagrange's interpolation. This is the first method which will be useful for unequally spaced data and second one is nothing but Newton's divided difference interpolation. So in the next video lectures we will start with different methods for equally spaced data, its derivation and how to solve a numerical. And after that we will discuss different methods for unequally spaced data, its derivation and its numerical. So this is what is the basic concept which gives you an idea about difference between equally spaced data and unequally spaced data. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubt, please feel free to ask any questions. Thank you once again.